Russia-Ukraine conflict. Russia's Vladimir Putin says war unlikely. The Russian president, Vladimir Putin, has said war with neighboring Ukraine is unlikely in an interview for Russian television. Mr. Putin also stressed his support for the recent Minsk ceasefire deal as the best way to stabilize eastern Ukraine. Ukraine says Russian troops have been fighting in Ukraine. Mr. Putin repeated denials that this was the case. Earlier, Ukraine's military said rebel shelling had prevented them withdrawing heavy weapons from the front line. In his interview, his first extended comments since the ceasefire deal was agreed on February 12, Mr. Putin was asked if there was a real threat of war, given the situation in eastern Ukraine. I think that such an apocalyptic scenario is unlikely and I hope this will never happen, he said. Mr. Putin said that if the Minsk agreement was implemented, eastern Ukraine would gradually stabilize. Europe is just as interested in that as Russia. No one wants conflict on the edge of Europe, especially armed conflict, he said. Line Analysis Sarah Rainsford, BBC News, Moscow This was a confident Vladimir Putin, fielding soft questions on the Ukraine conflict with ease, even smiles. Russia's president said that in his eyes, the way to peace in Ukraine is clear. The deal struck in Minsk has to be implemented. He underlined that the agreement had been backed by the UN Security Council, and that matters to Moscow. He was also keen to point out that it devolves more power to eastern parts of Ukraine, currently controlled by Russian-backed rebels. As for Russia invading Ukraine, President Putin once again shrugged off evidence that he's deployed troops to help the rebels. He said Kiev was claiming that to hide its humiliation at being defeated by former miners and tractor drivers. He was just as scathing on the issue of Crimea, which Russia annexed last year, advising Ukraine's president to concentrate on saving his country's collapsing economy, instead of knowing to take back that land. Line. The Russian leader also said that Minsk deal had become an international legal document following the Security Council approval of the Russian drafted resolution endorsing it. Last week the deal looked in danger of collapsing when rebels captured the strategically important transport hub of the Belt Severe. Both sides have two weeks under the terms of the Minsk deal to pull artillery and tanks out of striking distance, and both agreed at the weekend to begin with drawing heavy weapons shortly. But on Monday, the Ukrainian military said rebels had not stopped firing and that it was therefore unable to withdraw heavy weapons. The rebels, however, were not expected to begin their pullback until after Russia's defenders of the Fatherland Day, that they were observing on Monday. The BBC's Paul Adams reports from the self-declared People's Republic of Donetsk that rebels there said they were experiencing less intense fighting than before, with less use of heavy weapons by the Ukrainian army. But he adds that soldiers and an appreciative crowd were in defiant mood as they listened to a little girl delivered a rousing speech to mark the holidays calling down God's judgment on the government in Kiev. Fighting began in eastern Ukraine in April, a month after Russia annexed the Crimea Peninsula. Nearly 5,700 people have died and at least 1.25 million have fled their homes since the conflict began early last year. The Ukrainian government, Western leaders and NATO say there is clear evidence that Russia is helping the rebels with heavy weapons and soldiers. Independent experts echo that accusation while Moscow denies it, insisting that any Russians serving with the rebels are volunteers.